All right, what is up guys? Ivan from Brainbiz.com. And uh, like I was uh, telling you in the last video, I was gonna do a review of the Arduino 101. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Um, I've looked at the board, uh, what uh, uses I think it would be good for. Uh, a couple of things I'm gonna let you know in advance. Also be, um, uh, be aware of some things that uh, will happen with this board. So let's just look at the board real quick. Uh, the form factor of the board looks a lot like uh, the Arduino Uno, as you can see here. I mean, it, it'll, it's the same form factor, pretty much. Let me just move this here. There we go. So as you can see, the, uh, the size is the same. Uh, the connection are in the same areas. Uh, the DC, the um, USB, the reset switch. Uh, this, of course, uses the ATmega328, the original Uno. And this guy uses the Intel Curie chip. Uh, now, uh, by default, this chip should be two times faster because it's clocked at 32 megahertz compared to 16 megahertz for this guy. Um, so for a project that need like really high speed, uh, let's say reading an analog values really fast or stuff like that, uh, so that's one thing uh, that this guy could be uh, good for. Arduino 101 is for the US. That's the name that is used there. Uh, I'm in Canada, so the one I should get is the Gen Genuino 101. Uh, it's basically the same board, it's just the naming has been different. I don't know in Canada if there's a restriction of using the Arduino name. Uh, so they called it the Genuino. Uh, but basically it's the same board, so whatever, which one you get depends on where you are in the world. If you're in the US, you're going to get the one named Arduino 101, and if you're the rest of the world, you get the Genuino 101. But it's the same board. Basically, this board acts pretty much like a regular Nano. Basically, you're going to program it using the IDE software. One thing you got to keep in mind, though, since the chip on here is different than the chip on an Uno, it's not an AT Mega. Uh, a lot of libraries that we've been using in our uh, tutorials will not work on this guy. Uh, for example, the Fast LED library that we've been using a lot uh, to light up uh, WS2812 you know, LED sticks, uh, it doesn't work with this. Uh, I checked and the guy that wrote that library said that uh, it's, not, it's not compatible yet, but he might update it so it would be compatible with the Intel Curie chip. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The Arduino 101, since it uses the uh, Curie chip, the Intel Curie chip, uh, the Intel Curie chip is great for wearables, um, Internet of Things applications, uh, because the Intel Curie is basically a system on a chip, right? So you have a gyro, uh, an accelerometer, uh, the Bluetooth, the uh, low power Bluetooth, um, very low powered, it's faster, and it's all integrated into this very small chip. Uh, so the Intel Curie is great for uh, making wearables and smaller things. Uh, now, if that's what you're interested in, then using the 101 to actually prototype and develop your code, and uh, after that, once everything is working on here, uh, then you embed the Curie chip into a smaller PCB, and that's a great way to do it. Uh, so, if you look at it that way, the Arduino 101 is great for that because it uses a chip that is low powered and is made to be uh, powered by batteries, doesn't, lose, uh, doesn't use a lot of energy, and the chip is very small and integrates all these sensors. Um, the Uno in comparison is, has more support because it's been here longer, so libraries are widely available uh, for a lot of modules that you can find easily out there. Uh, the Arduino 101 is very new, uh, probably libraries are going to be written for it, uh, the more people use them. Uh, so in that regard, yeah, it's a, it's a great board, but it depends on what you want to do. If you're developing your own, uh, your own products, uh, then the Curie chip, yes, it is faster, it's got more memory, and all these embedded sensors at the same time. So there you go, guys, that's my review of the Arduino 101. Um, there's a lot more to this board than what I talked about here. Um, normally on this channel I talk about, uh, you know, simple things uh, to get people started. 
Uh, if you want to go more in depth, uh, you know, Google is your friend. You'll find a lot of information on this board and the Curie chip in particular. Uh, so let me switch. So the next video is almost done. I'm going to have it up this weekend. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually communicate with the uh, Arduino 101 using the BLE, uh, using our cell phone here. And we'll uh, sound this buzzer, light up the LEDs and stuff like that. So I'll show you which app which app I use to actually enable us to do this. Uh, so this could get you started working with the uh, Arduino 101 using Bluetooth. So look out for that video. It should be up uh, probably this Saturday or at the latest Sunday. It's almost done. I just uh, wanted to cut it out here because this video, I don't want this video to be too long. Hope you join us next time for uh, the testing of this board using uh, the BLE. And uh, as I always say, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, we try to make as many videos as we can. Uh, some are going to be reviews like this. Most of our videos are about tutorials on how to use uh, and make little projects. Um, also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, that way you'll get notified there also when we post new uh, videos. So that'll do it for today, guys. So hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, please, if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the YouTube section comment section below. So until next time, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care. <laughs>